Hi, I'm Afonso Mendes, a PhD student in the Optical Cell Biology Lab at the IGC. Let me show you how easy it is to get started in 3D printing. If you need a more detailed guide, be sure to check out our latest review called The Field Guide to 3D Printing in Microscopy. Before you start, you will need a computer, an SD card, a 3D printer, and some printing material. The object that you want to print needs to be represented in a digital format. You can design your own 3D models from scratch using CAD software. In this case, I'm using Tinkercad, a free web-based program. But others are also available, from more intuitive ones to more technical and complex. At this stage, the goal is just to define the shapes and the dimensions of the object. Using the same software, you can then export your 3D model into an STL file, which encodes the object's surface geometry. You can also download CAD and STL files from the many 3D model databases available online. Once you have your STL file ready, you can import it into a slicer software. In this case, I'm using Prusa Slicer. The slicer breaks the objects into layers and produces a set of instructions, called G-code, that the 3D printer must follow to print the object. The G-code directs the movements of the 3D printer's mechanical parts, such as the printing head and the extruder. At this stage, you can also decide to include support structures, which are required to print certain features. You should also define aspects that affect the object's integrity and looks, for instance, you can define the infill density and also the infill pattern. Once the G code is ready, you need to deliver it to your 3D printer. This is typically done using an SD card, but if you want to go one step further, you can buy a Raspberry Pi and set up an Octoprint instance, which allows you to upload the G code directly from your computer and remotely control your printer. Once the G-code is uploaded to the 3D printer, you can initiate the printing job. When printing is finished, inspect your object to see if it matches your demands. Also check for printing artifacts like warping or stringing. The object might still require some finishing touches like sanding. Or if you used support structures, now it's also the time to remove them. <laughs> 